Hello, this is Tor from EdCon, and this is part three in common mistakes when performing root cause failure analysis. Today we're going to talk about saving parts and um, organizing information a little bit. I think we need to create a culture of saving parts. There's 168 hours in a week, and you're there 40 hours, 50 perhaps, bad week, 60. But still, chances are that you're not there when something breaks. Um, therefore, we need to create a culture of saving parts, bag and tag, um, somehow. What we see in work is to create an area where broken pieces are stored. It could be uh, a separate room with shelves. It could be just an area in the plant uh, where, where we put just a, just a square out in the plant, whatever it may be. Um, also, um, we need to teach people a little bit how to bag and tag. For example, if you have a broken shaft or fractured surfaces, people need to know that you, you, the first people do, of course, is trying to fit them together where we destroy the, the, destroy the fracture surfaces. We should also try to preserve those fracture surfaces a bit. Sometimes some light oil can be used, etc., etc. Those are just examples. Uh, teach people to take some photos, um, you know, what, what it looks like right when they find the part or the, the broken equipment. Um, if we know if it is a broken equipment, it could be a process problem too, but the same goes for that. And once we bag and tag, let's put them in that area because now we have a visual space. So we show the organization that it's important to save broken parts. As you know, if you're performing root cause, it's almost impossible to actually perform a root cause if you don't have the broken stuff, right? Another thing is to organize, have a system for organizing and identifying the parts. So it could be as simple as a number, one, two, three, four, five, attached to your root cause, some type of log sheet where we say, okay, this is one and this is what it is and, and, and then have a log sheet of what goes where so we know where the parts were and so forth. Um, simple things, let's say there's a bearing broken, let's make sure when we pull off the bearing that we see which direction was it sitting? Because if we don't know that, where the load zone was, it could be hard to analyze. So that's my tip. Think about that. There's a lot of detail in it, but think about, do you have a place? Do you have a culture? Do you know that people know how to bag and tag? Um, good luck. <laughs>